Telephone Tales by Gianni Rodari Illustrated by Valerio Vidali Playing with the Cane One day, little Claudio was playing just outside the front door of his apartment building when he saw a nice little old man go by out on the street. The old man wore gold wire-rimmed glasses, and he was walking completely hunched over, leaning his weight on his cane. Right in front of Claudio's door, the old man suddenly lost hold of his cane. Claudio hurried out to pick it up and hand it to him, but the old man smiled and said, Thanks, but I don't need it. I can walk just fine without one. If you like, you can keep it. And without stopping to wait for an answer, he started off, his back looking less curved than before. Claudio stood there with the walking stick in his hands, unsure of what to do with it. It was just a perfectly ordinary cane with a curved handle and a metal tip, nothing special about it worth mentioning. Claudio knocked the tip against the ground two or three times, and then, almost without thinking about it, he leaned the cane forward and straddled it. Lo and behold, it was no longer an ordinary cane, It was now a horse, a wonderful black colt with a white star on its forehead, and it burst into a gallop around the courtyard, whinnying and kicking sprays of fiery sparks off the cobblestones. Once Claudio, who was astonished and a little frightened, managed to get his feet back on solid ground, the walking stick turned back into a walking stick. It no longer had hooves, just a simple, slightly rusty metal tip. It no longer had a flowing mane, just the usual curved handle. I want to try that again, Claudio decided, after catching his breath. He swung his leg over the cane again, and this time it became not a horse, but a very solemn, two-humped camel, and the courtyard was now a vast desert to be crossed. This time, Claudio wasn't a bit afraid, and he peered off into the distance, waiting for an oasis to heave into view. This certainly is an enchanted cane, Claudio thought, as he climbed onto it for a third time. Now it was a bright red race car with its number written in white on the hood, and the courtyard was a roaring racetrack, and Claudio was the first to cross the finish line every time. Then the cane turned into a speedboat, and the courtyard turned into a lake with placid green waters. And then a spaceship hurtling through space, leaving a wake of stars behind it. Each time Claudio set foot on the ground again, the walking stick returned to its ordinary appearance, with a shiny handle and a worn old metal tip. The afternoon passed quickly as the boy played those games. As evening began to fall, Claudio chanced to look back out onto the street, and there was the old man with the gold wire-rimmed glasses again. Claudio gazed at him curiously, but he couldn't see anything remarkable about him. He was just an ordinary old man, looking a little weary from his long walk. Do you like the cane? The old man asked Claudio with a smile. Claudio thought the old man must want it back, and he held it out to him, slightly red-faced. But the old man shook his head. Keep it, keep it, he said. What am I going to do with a cane anyway at my age? You can fly on it. I can only lean my weight on it. I'll lean against the wall instead, and it will make no difference. And he walked off with a smile on his face, because no one in the world can be happier than an old person who has given a gift to a child. <laughs>